keep things simple here on The Simple Chef, for this recipe I would normally use just a big tin of tomatoes. Uh, stewed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, whole tomatoes, whatever you want to use. Uh, but today, because I have so many nice tomatoes in the garden, I'm going to blanch some of these and use them instead. But keep in mind for this recipe, just as simple to use a big can of stewed tomatoes. I'm going to be using uh, skinless chicken breast today, but uh, normally with chicken cacciatore, they like to use the dark meat, the legs, the thighs. Um, I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to chop this up a little bit, make these pieces a little bit smaller to put in the chicken cacciatore. First thing we're going to do for this chicken cacciatore is to brown the chicken up a little bit. I'm using a deep pan, kind of like a wok today, but any uh, non-stick skillet like that will work for this dish. I like this because it's deeper and I can simmer everything right in here and put the lid on it. You can also use a crock pot for this kind of a dish. Um, that would be really good too. I've got some olive oil in here, a couple of tablespoons, and I'm going to uh, brown this chicken up in it once I heat up the skillet. Now you just want to brown this a bit on both sides because we are going to be cooking it fully later on. There's about a million different recipes for chicken cacciatore. This one I'm doing today, of course on The Simple Chef, is going to be quite simple. One large diced up onion, a can of mushrooms, a green pepper, nicely diced up. We're going to be adding some uh, processed garlic because it's simple. That's why we use it. We're going to be adding a little bit of wine. That's optional too. You can use white wine or red wine. Matter of fact, in uh, North Italy, they're more prone to using white wine, and in South Italy, they use red wine in their cacciatore. Cacciatore is an Italian word meaning hunter, and alla cacciatore means hunter style, basically. Um, and this is a, a hunter style recipe because it has these uh, veggies and stuff added into it and made like kind of like a stew uh, in a stew pot. In place of wine, if you don't want to use wine, you can also use uh, chicken stock. Once you've uh, browned this chicken up a little bit, Move it from the pan. I brown this up in olive oil, nice extra virgin olive oil. To which uh, we're going to drain a little bit of the olive oil off. Keep enough in there to fry up the rest of our goodies here. We're going to start sauteing our onions and peppers. And our drained can of mushrooms. We'll get that started on there. Sauteing this. Add in about a tablespoon of prepared garlic. I like garlic and it's good for you, so I'm going to add about two tablespoons. <laughs> Now, to this mixture, we're going to add our wine, about a quarter to a half a cup. And your tomatoes, either canned or prepared home like I did. Mix those ingredients all in well. Now we're going to add in some spices. Starting with pepper. We're also going to add oregano. Season to taste. About a tablespoon of oregano in there, about a half a teaspoon of pepper. And since I have lots, I'm going to add lots of this fresh basil once I chop it up out of the garden. You can add some rosemary to this if you like, and some paprika. Now the next step is to reintroduce that lovely brown chicken that we did earlier. Turn this down to 
medium low heat so it can just simmer. Throw the chicken in there. Finally, put a lid on it and let it simmer. Traditionally, the cacciatore is served with either a pasta or a nice earthy, crusty bread, a nice Italian loaf or something. Today I'm serving it up with some whole wheat fettuccine noodles. Despite the storm and the power going out a couple of times, we actually managed to get this cooked. There you have a lovely dish of chicken cacciatore. Wasn't that simple?